The man who sang Indiana's signature song before our state's biggest yearly event 36 times has been silenced. Jim Neighbors passed away at the age of 87, and we were the first to tell you about his passing today at noon. Yeah, best known by most people as TV's Gomer Pyle. Jim Neighbors sang Back Home in Indiana at the Indianapolis 500 between 1972 and 2014. His longtime partner says he died peacefully overnight at their home in Hawaii. Though Neighbors touched the hearts of Hoosiers, he spent his later years in Hawaii. Our sports director, Dave Calabro, visited Neighbors there on three separate occasions as Neighbors reflected on his life, his career, and how he wanted to be remembered. The view out Jim Neighbors' back door in Honolulu is stunning. Aloha. <laughs> Welcome. Good to see you, Jim Neighbors. It's good to see you. This is a beautiful piece of property. How long have you lived here? I've been here about 37, 38 years, and... Uh, well, you know, right now it took a lot of golly to pay for this sucker, <laughs> but uh, I've enjoyed every minute of it. This is where he lived out his final years. He was always so gracious to everyone he met as we shared memories at his exclusive home just down the beach from Waikiki. His home is packed full of Hollywood memories, picture after picture, with some of the biggest names in showbiz and politics. Most of his furniture was given to him as gifts, including a priceless, beautiful chandelier from Napoleon's Palace in Paris. This is beautiful is what it is. Thank you. Thank but he really didn't care about those material things. He was all about sharing moments with people. Neighbors learned that life is precious, each day is a gift, as he awaited a heart valve transplant a couple of years ago. What are your emotions like having to go through this? This is scary. Well, you know, I'm, they just keep patching me up and sending me back out, so I'm kind of used to it. But, you know, I'm, I feel very blessed that I've had these years to do, you know, to do all the things I've done. And uh, I had a liver transplant, I have a pacemaker, I have a new knee, whatever. whatever. Push me so back instead of Gomer Pyle, you should be the bionic man, right? Absolutely. I am. In Indiana. 1972, the first time you uh, sang the song in Indianapolis. Yeah, I have a picture of me and Tony. Do you remember that day? Absolutely, I do. And I, I, I didn't know the words to back home again in Indiana. Wrote them on my hand. Again. After I did it that first time, man, that was engraved in my brain forever. I even sing it in my sleep sometimes. An Alabama kid singing back home again in Indiana. Do you feel like you're a Hoosier? Absolutely. I feel like I'm an Alabama Hoosier Hawaiian. Neighbors only missed the Indy 500 a few times because of his health. In 2007, the fans sang to Jim while he was in the hospital. Six o'clock in the morning by myself in the hospital, and then the, the audience sang it to me. And our tears were streaming down my face. Didn't have anybody to share it with. Wow. I still get emotional. Jim loved the Indy 500, but he cherished the fans even more. He longed to be back just one more time. I want to tell you guys I really miss you, and I'm really sorry to do this to you, but it wasn't my idea. And I will... <laughs> I will golly! Golly! And I will be back with you next year, I hope. <laughs> Say a good word for me to the Lord. Neighbors told me he lived a very blessed life, and we, his fans, will cherish all those fantastic memories. Being uh, in my 80s now, uh, you think back over your life, and uh, it's not how much money you made or how famous you were or anything. It's really when you pass over, it's who you've been. And when you asked me that, all I could think of was, uh, and it still, still is the bottom line for me, he was a nice guy. You guys, Jim Neighbors was 87 years old, just a legend at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and a legend in Hollywood to see what this guy yeah. uh, was able to do. And uh, 1985 is the first time I got to introduce Jim Neighbors at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Just always so gracious and kind to me. I will never forget that. Yeah, I think we've all seen him over the years in yeah. the parade and out at the track. Mm -hmm. And in addition to his uh, superstar status, he was just a nice guy. Just a nice guy, a common folk. He was from yeah. Alabama, of course, and he said <laughs> Indiana was his second home. And uh, 
Always fun to see him on race day and how he would just spend time with people. I think he enjoyed the race fans more than he did all the other celebrities. <laughs> That's just the kind of guy he was. And every time he would sing, he literally would walk off that stage to me. The place would be going crazy. And he'd say, you think they liked it or not? <laughs> he, just, he just had that kind Should of personality. Okay? And another legend, of course, his good friend as well, Florence Henderson. Yeah, it's just over a year ago that we lost Florence Henderson, another icon of the sport, uh, mm -hmm. has been is going to be missed as well. So yeah. Jim Neighbors, Florence Henderson, tough time to see these people pass. But what yeah. a blessing to be able yeah. to watch them be a part of our city for so many years. Absolutely. Things are changing out there at the track, but yeah. we do have the memories, which is which is yeah. a great, great thing. And of course, Dave, you also talked about it's not about the money, it's really about who you are as a person, it's about the character right. of that's the That's right. He didn't care about all the stuff he yeah. had. I went to his homes in Hawaii, as you just saw, mm -hmm. he had everything known to mankind, but it was all about relationships. Yeah. That's what he truly yeah. loved. He would be missed. Yes. All right. And reaction to neighbors passing came quickly today on Twitter. IMS President Doug Bowles tweeted, Jim was as much a part of IMS in the 500 as every driver that has competed here. His performances of Back Home Again in Indiana on race day every year were the best 90 seconds of the year for many of our fans. Not born here, but a true Hoosier. And the Holman George family also released a statement on neighbors passing. It reads in part, Jim was not only a treasured friend, but truly a treasured member of our family. We will never forget his genuine kindness, his sincerity, and his loyalty. He was a wonderful man who inspired millions of people across the globe every May and throughout his entire life. And we're also remembering Jim Neighbors on our website at WTHR.com. We take a look back at his career and his time at the Indy 500. That also includes more of Dave's interview with him at his home in Hawaii that you definitely want to check out again.